A 2 meter wide rectangular gate is pinned at its center A and is prevented from rotating by the block at B. What are the reactions at supports A and B due to the hydrostatic pressure? This is the second example for the fluid pressure main video. If you haven't watched that one yet, it's linked in the description below along with other examples from the fluid pressure topic. Since the hydrostatic pressure increases linearly with depth, we see that the free body diagram of the gate is subjected to a trapezoidal distributed load and the reactions at A and B. Since the trapezoid can be analyzed as a rectangle plus a triangle, we write the equivalent load for the trapezoidal distributed load as two forces. One from the triangle, located at one-third of the height of the gate from the bottom, and the equivalent load from the rectangle, found at the center of the gate. To find the reaction force at B, we write a sum of moments about A, and once we have the reaction at B, we write a sum of forces in X to solve for AX. The equivalent point load of the triangular distributed load depends on the pressure on the top and the bottom of the gate. The base of the triangle is the difference between these two, and the height is that of the gate. The equivalent point load of the rectangular distributed load would be the area of that rectangle. We substitute the FT value in the sum of moments equation to solve for the reaction at B, and substitute all values in the sum of forces in X to solve for the reaction at A. Of course, both reactions are pointing towards the left. For more fluid pressure examples, as well as the videos for the main topics of the statics course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.